Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! <laughs> the, uh, I already get a kick out of this. Hey, asshole, great video on the LLC, S Corp, and C Corp, etc. Yeah, that was like the most boring video that Chad Elkins got. Dude, that was a really good video. I'm like, what about the one about how to uh, inoculate yourself against the, the psychological pain of female rejection? Was that? No, I, was, I literally like the one about the LLC. I'm like, it, you never know what's going to go viral. You know, that is, and I've put, I've done, you guys, okay, if you're bored, if you're bored later on today, go look up how the government outsourced socialism. Uh, parts one and two. Go look that up on my blog. I put my heart and soul, and not all of it, but a, a lot of work into these two posts because it was this great observation, not epiphany, an observation I had. How the government has outsourced socialism. Wrote about my blog, CaptainCapitalism.blogspot.com. And I don't think anyone read it except for one guy, Dr. David Perodin. He's like, oh, that's a really good post. I'm like, thanks. You and three other people thought so. And then, hey, look at my poop fart joke. Oh my God, 10 million follows. That's Hey, asshole, great video on the LLC, S Corp, C Corp, etc. But I would like you to do a video request. I'd like to do a video request on umbrella insurance versus an LLC. I feel that in most people's situation, umbrella insurance would be a better choice because with an LLC, you still would have to come out of the pocket to hire an attorney for lawsuits. With a $1 million umbrella policy, the attorney fees are paid unless tax paperwork. My situation is below, which do you recommend? Military discount. Cars, rental property, each three times each worth about. 60,000, no more. Oh, wow, no mortgage. Good going, dude. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> I didn't know anything. I looked in, I called Chad Elkins. Then we discussed, and the meeting of the minds occurred, and then we concluded. Um, it, it's both. Do both. Because you got the legal protection of the LLC, and then you also have the umbrella insurance. Um, and if you had to choose between one or the other, I would say it depends. There's no reason you can't file an LLC. It's so easy. You just go on the internet, you go to your state secretary of state or whatever state you want to file the LLC in. You go online, boop, 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 boop. you pay them by credit card, boom, you got in an LLC. And it's usually for, I think the highest was Illinois was $500. I think Minnesota, it's $120. Um, different states vary. But you're talking for a couple hundred bucks. You set up an LLC. Now, of course, there's some pain assery that's going to occur. You should set up a separate bank account. So all the transactions are done through there. But you'd want to do that anyway for accounting purposes. So you have a very clear separation between your individual finances and your LLC's finances. Not because you want to show how good and clean and what a great accountant you are. But come tax time, boom, there it is. You know, well, what, was this a, a tax deductible expense? Or was that for the LLC? Or was this for me? It, it, it's all there on your corporate credit card or your bank account for the LLC. So I'd be setting up one anyway. And then in addition, the umbrella policy, you're right. I, I looked at it and it's cheap. And and yeah, here's here's some really cheap insurance and then it'll cover everything else. Um, so if I had to go, the worst situation would have neither LLC and neither insurance. If you want to do a quick and dirty and be done with it, yes, an umbrella policy would be the easiest. And, um, I mean, I was looking at them. It's, um, and for your property, it's 180 grand umbrella insurance costs. <clears throat> I'm sure it's going to vary. For about 150 to 300 per year, you can buy a million dollar personal umbrella liability policy. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, and you pointed out something to me, yeah, maybe I should just, just in general go and get an umbrella insurance policy. Um, it, and that would be perfect for uh, self-employed people. But both are relatively cheap. They're about the same cost. Uh, the LLC requires a little bit more work in setting up a bank account and a little bit more work when it comes to tax time. When I was going through the research, oh my God, there's some tax stuff you gotta do. What, put together an income statement? Do a little bit of accounting you were gonna do anyway? It all goes on the Schedule C. Um, so, yes, it is wise. Um, you know, if you guys just don't have a drink a month, you can pay for it. 
Um, it's, it's not the worst thing ever. Uh, but I would say do both. Do both. It, it's just... You, hey, 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 hey. Well, they all... Pennies, they add up. Yeah, okay, well, you, you can find some pennies for this. <laughs> no, you don't need your cigarettes. No, you don't need to take out Coochie LaRue. No, you don't need to go out for food if you just, you know. Spare going out a, a meal once a month and you can afford this. And then in, in the case of a bad situation happening, you know, meteorite hits, somebody slips and falls, whatever, you, then you're covered. So, All right, that is, that is it. Questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. We'll see you all later. Toodles.